Hello, Wastelanders. It is I, Big Papa J. I'm coming at you with a new twist. From the last playthrough that we were doing, remember I mentioned that how cool it would be if Batman hooked up with Harley Quinn and became partners in crime. Now, I'm not going to make Harley Quinn my companion. However, that got me to thinking, what am I missing in my playthrough? What is it that I actually enjoy? And that is my melee. I just love my melee, and I love playing a vampire. It's just who I am. It's just what I like. And I try to step out of that comfort zone. But I like the melee aspect, and I like playing a vampire. So what I have done is I'm going to introduce you to the Dark Paladin. This is Batman. On a Batman's mind has been twisted. The destruction of the world that he once beloved and swore to protect has now turned into a wasteland and his mind is twisted. Somewhere alone the past 200 years, he became infected and is now a carrier of a vampire trait. So he has the vampire abilities. However, he's not a vampire that has to drink all the time. I have, I have it set up so that he only has to drink once every 24 hours. So I'm not going to be doing a lot of vampire drinking. Just once every 24 hours to maintain his immortality. Otherwise, he'll just be normal. Now, because Batman is a melee player, I am running melee. However, however, I will be using my M16, my ranged weapon, when the time arises. So I'm going to be doing a combination of melee and range fire. So it's, a, it's the best of both worlds. Because I've really been enjoying pulling out my gun and blowing sh shit up. So I want to keep doing that. However, I also want to do my melee. So I have spiked claws. And they kind of look like they kind of look like something Batman would, would um, use anyway. If I go to inventory and go to um, weapon and um, my fist weapon here, sharp knuckles. If you look at them, see they kind of look like a bat. Kind of look like a bat. So those are his spike knuckles. That's what I'll be using when I'm doing melee. No sword. Spike Knuckles fighting and he does you know the punch and the boxing however if I want to change over and I need to dig out my weapon I do have that as well so the best of both worlds now if you will do me a favor I want you to go to the playlist um, not the playlist, I'm sorry, the, um, the notes, the, um, I can't even think of what, what the bloody hell they call it right now, <laughs> the show notes, the show notes, I couldn't think, I had a brain fart, you ever get those, you ever get a brain fart, I want you to go to the show notes, and in the show notes, one of the very first things you see that I have highlighted is a mod list, and a description of the playthrough that I'm playing. And it will give you a breakdown of what I'm doing. I'm doing an alternate playthrough. So I'm playing um, Outcast and Remnants. I'm doing um, Project Valkyrie. I'm doing um, Disparity. The hell? Uh, you don't want me. You don't want a piece of me. Trust me. Batman. 
and no kung fu. You see that roundhouse kick? You see me do that roundhouse kick? Batman knows kung fu. You don't want a piece of me. <laughs> yeah, Batman knows kung fu. Um, anyways, um, disparity, crime and punishment, my flashy Joe office. Um, rising. Uh, what is it? Um, something rising. I can't remember off the top of my head. Anyway, these are all mods that tie in together with well, who she is. Is that a settler? No, that's Test Tank Carla. They all tie in together and they give a totally alternate story, alternate ending. Like uh, being able to rescue um, Kellogg and not kill him. I can also kill Preston Garvey. I can kill Preston Garvey. I also have the um, America Rising, the Enclave. I have them. So they're back into the game. So I'll be doing that at some point in time. And if you go to the um, the show notes, you'll see um, a link to that page. And that's pretty much what I'm going to be playing or following. So that I get the alternate endings and everything. I'm not going to be running around with any companions. So no companions. Um, unless it's required for a certain portion in the, in the quest. Like I'm not going to be running around with doggies. <laughs> I will go ahead and greet him. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? But I won't be keeping him. Um, you seem like an okay guy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Hey, now I'm going to dismiss hey. him. Because How I you don't... doing, buddy? Go on home now. Um, I'm just going to let him go to the gun for hire office. Because I do have that set up. But I'm not going to be playing him. Any companions that I get that will let me send them to my gun for hire office, I will end up doing that. I have all, um, let me show you something. I went ahead and activated every single waypoint in the game. So, I will be doing fast travel. I'm not fast traveling right now because I'm kind of giving you a breakdown layout of the land. But I will be doing fast travel and, and so forth in the game. Um, like I said, I'm not right now because I just want to do an introduction. I want to talk to you. But I'm really going to be excited. I'm pumped. I am pumped because I'm doing something that I've been wanting to do. And that is the... Melee. I, I just like my melee and my vampire. And, like I said, I have it set up so that I don't eat and drink constantly. Um, just once every 24 hours. Once every 24 hours, I'll have to have a snack. Because of my vampire ability, that gives me the... Um, regeneration perks so I do kind of heal and regenerate at a faster rate than normal there's the little girl right there so according to the playthrough layout that you'll find in the show notes it has a list of all the mods I'm running not, not the complete list, but the ones required for this playthrough. And the breakdown on what order you should play them in. Should, what should I do first, second, third, fourth? It recommends that we do start with Stilla here. And do her. And then we will eventually, before I do um, America Rising, I have to do Outcasts and Remnants. I have to get it started. At some point in time, I will be doing Valkyrie. This will take me into the, uh, the alternate ending for the Institute. And the... Um, I can't remember the, the name of that one particular city, but it's... Um, 
it's something to do with the glowing sea, I believe. I can't remember exactly, but it's something to do with it, I believe. Anywho, you'll see it in the show notes. You'll see it all in the show notes if you if you click on it. And with that being said, I'm going to jump off of here. This is just a very short introduction, giving you guys a head up, a head up, a heads up on what is coming. I'm playing an evil guy. Who are you? Institute Corsure. Okay. Institute Corsure doing walking around out here. See, totally alternate. Oh, I'm not doing the ice. And no, I'm not going to install the ice. Don't worry. I will not be putting the ice on this playthrough. I promise you. As much as I love the ice, I'm going to keep it um, like this. I'm not going to put the ice on there. So I don't, you don't have to worry about that. See, there's a courser walking around. Just, just all different. Um, I am running endless warfare. I am running the stalker, so that that stuff is incorporated into the game. Just all kinds of neat stuff. This is going to be a fabulous playthrough, and I'm playing evil. Batman has lost his insanity. His moral compass is corrupted. He's also an older man. It's been 200 years. That's why his hair is gray and silver. He's an older version of Batman. It's been 200 years since Gotham got blowed up. Stick around. Subscribe. This is going to be one hell of an evil. Kill them all. Let God sort them out. Play through. And with that being said, it's Big Papa J, hoping you have a good day or night, depending on what it is where you are. Join me as we kick off the Dark Paladin.